गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो वेलकम टू माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ए न्यू जंक्शन नेम्ड एज हाइब्रिड रिंग और रैट रेस जंक्शन और हाइब्रिड कपलर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट ई प्लेन टी एच प्लेन टी एंड मैजिक टी so in today's class we are going to see a junction which is similar to a magic t which is named as a hybrid ring or rat race junction or hybrid coupler so this is a modification of a magic t so in case of magic t we have four ports so in this junction or a hybrid ring it is also consisting of four ports port number 1 port number 2 port number 3 and port number 4 and the four ports are connected in the form of a angular ring at a proper intervals so so here between port 1 and port 2 the distance is lambda g by 4 port 2 and port 3 that is again lambda g by 4 lambda g is a guided wavelength okay between port 3 and port 4 lambda g by 4 and between port 1 and port 4 it is 3 lambda g by 4 so this particular rat race junction or hybrid ring is constructed by rectangular wave guides molded into circular pattern basically these are rectangular wave guides so they have been molded into a circular pattern so here the total circumference of the ring is 6 lambda by g so here we are having 3 lambda by g plus lambda by g plus lambda by g plus lambda that means the upper part if you look at the symmetrical part this upper part is having 3 lambda by g 3 lambda by g and bottom part is having lambda g by 4 plus lambda g by 4 2 lambda g by 4 and this one is again plus lambda g by 4 2 lambda g by 4 plus lambda g by 4 will be 3 lambda g by 4 so this 3 lambda g by 4 and this 3 lambda g by 4 will give you total circumference as 6 lambda g by 4 that is 1.5 lambda g so here if input is given to port 1 then it splits equally in clockwise and anti clockwise direction into port 2 and 4 and nothing will enter into port 3 that is very very important property of this particular hybrid ring that means if we are giving input at port 1 then it is going to split this input into two halves one in counter clockwise direction if it is counter clockwise port number 2 is the next port after port 1 and port number 4 is a port near to port 1 in clockwise direction so we are going to have an output at port number 2 and port number 3 when you are giving input at port 1 and across port number 3 there won't be any output that is very very important similarly suppose if i am giving input here suppose let's assume i am giving input at port number 2 then it will be divided equally into one in clockwise one in clockwise that is it one one output will be across port 1 and one in anti clockwise one anti clockwise means after port number 2 anti clockwise is port number 3 so at port number 4 there is no output or zero output similarly suppose let's assume if input you are giving at port number 4 then what is going to happen half of the input is going to be go to the anti clockwise port that is port 1 and remaining half is going to be there at port number 3 at port number 2 there won't be any output or zero output similarly let's assume the other possibility suppose if input is given to port number 3 then the adjacent ports are port 4 and port 2 so only you will be having half power across port 4 and half power across port 2 across port 1 there won't be any power output that is what we have written here similarly if input at port number 2 is given then it will be equally divided in port 1 and 
and at port 4 it will be 0 that is what same so port 2 input so adjacent ports are port 1 and port 3 so port 4 you are not going to get any output so so hybrid ring can be used for combining two signals or dividing a signal into two equal parts that is the important application of hybrid rings that means by using hybrid rings we can combine two signals or we can divide a signal into two equal parts so the s matrix of the hybrid ring is having square matrix of 4 by 4 because we are having four ports similar to magic t so matrix size will be 4 by 4 so in this case so here in case of magic t all four ports are perfectly matched perfectly matched means s11 is equal to 0 s22 is equal to 0 s33 is equal to 0 s44 is equal to 0 that is called match perfectly matched ports so here also all four ports are perfectly matched so in the s matrix the diagonal values in the 4 by 4 matrix are 0 so now let's uh, discuss how to write the the other parameters in the 4 by 4 matrix so we are considering fourth first first row so before understanding this we will just recollect so we have written s i j this i indicates your output and j indicates your input this we have discussed in the uh, previous classes okay so we, by using this particular concept we are going to define uh, this particular matrix okay so here S11 is equal to 0. Why this S11 is equal to 0? Because all four ports are perfectly matched in case of magic T as well as hybrid ring. So that's why diagonally all are having 0. And this S12. S12 means what? S12 means output at 1 and input at 2. So now verify. So if you give input at port 2, we are going to have output at port number 1. That's why it is a non-zero value. Okay. Next. The, what is this? This is S13. What is S13? S13 means output at port 1 and by giving input at port 3. So, is it possible here? Please check. So, we are saying input at port 3. If I give input at port 3, according to the operation of the uh, this particular structure, to the adjacent port that is port 4 in counterclockwise and this side we are having port 2 that means only across port 4 and port 2 you are going to have a outputs so port 1 you are not going to get any output that's why we are writing s13 is equal to 0 that is the meaning of here s13 writing as 0 next s14 s14 means output at 1 input at 4 is it possible yes so if you give input here then output will be one output will be at port one one will be at port three that's why we are writing this as a non zero s14 okay similarly if you look at the second row that is s21 what is s21 s21 means second port output first port input that means if i give input at port one i am going to have definitely output across port number two that's why it is a s21 writing this is s22 so it's a perfect matching next s23 s23 means output at port 2 and input at port 3 according to the operation if you are giving input across port 3 then you will get one clockwise one anti-clockwise so clockwise anti-clockwise ports are port 4 and port 2 nearest ports so across that you are going to have s23 coming to this s24 s24 means measuring output at port 2 and giving input at port 4 if i give input at port 4 the possible outputs according to the rat trace junction is only 1 and 3 not 4 so that's why we are writing this as 0 similarly s31 s31 means output at 3 input at 1 so if i give input at 1 this one and this one we are going to get the outputs not at 3 so based on that we are written 0, S32, 0 and S34. Similarly, fourth row, S41. S41 means 
output at 4 input at 1 if i give input at 1 i am going to have output at 4 and port 2 that's why it is a non zero value next s42 means output at 4 by giving input at 2 is it possible it's not possible because if i give input at 2 i am going to get output across port 1 and port 3 one clockwise one anti clockwise addition ports so across port 4 there is no output that's why we are writing this as zero similarly s43 for s43 means at 4 output and at 3 input because these two are addition so it's a non zero value and similarly s44 s44 is equal to zero means it's a perfectly matched port so the summary is this particular four port rat race junction or hybrid ring is having total circumference of 1.5 lambda g that is one important point you should understand and if any input is given to any one port the equal amount of power is going to split one in clockwise direction other one is in analog direction that means equally split it and in the remaining port you are going to get a zero output that is one thing so this is uh, about uh, hybrid coupler or rat race junction or hybrid ring so in the uh, next class uh, we are going to discuss about uh, what is directional coupler so what is the operation and working principle of directional coupler what are the applications of directional coupler and what is the derivation for s matrix of a directional coupler so those things we are going to discuss in the coming video uh, thank you have a nice day